Hi, Courtney Morgan here coming to you from the Smyrna Outdoor Adventure Center. And today we are going to explore the newest exhibition for the summer 2024, Life on the Edge. Discover with me as we explore extreme environments on Earth and in space. Visitors will get a chance to reveal that life is often hidden in plain sight. Here at the Light Reveal Station, we will see how Earth can see different spectrums of light, gamma, UV, and X-ray. Let's check it out. Wow, wow, that is super cool. It's rainbow, it's so cool. The next stop we're gonna make is the Ori Station. Come take a look with me. Hey ladies, how are you exploring exoplanets with the Ori? If you spin the wheel, it goes all the way around them. The purple one lines up with another one and the other two just lines up with a different one. Nice, so with this one, we are watching how the light spectrum changes as the colors pass around the center light. I think they're meant to be planets. They should all be aligned at least with one. They're supposed to be facing each other at the same time. Like the purple one line up with the red one and the green one line up with the yellow one at all the same time. But this time it's not. Come with me to Mars as we explore across the plains like the Atacama Desert. Here at the Mars Rover Station, what are you doing? I'm discovering signs of life right now. Wow, that is awesome. Can you show me how it works? Sure. So it looks like these arrows direct where the, the rover's going. When I change it, the directions move. And I can't go right there. Okay, so can you change the arrows um, to code the rover to go to this flashing light? Okay, oh, there you go, made it turn. All right, and when the rover gets to the last spot, then what do you have to do? I have to cha change it so it'll still go to that spot right there. Wow, look at him go. Now, what did you say again? When he gets to the flashing spot, what are you looking for? Samples, probably, or signs of life. Here at the next spot, we are going to discover microbial colonies up close. This is one example of life being hidden in plain sight. All right, what can you see on the live view of the microbe colony? A bunch of microbes. So I see that you're moving you're moving this camera around. How, do, how is it working? Yeah, if you just move it to a certain place and then turn the knob in different places, it focuses. Do you think there might be microbes living inside of this panel where the algae and the different colors you're seeing? Do you think? But you can see tiny movements tiny. everywhere, I guess. Oh, very cool. Do you know what this is? This is a Wingarski tube, and it is showing us a different layers of microbes. So there's probably different bacteria in here. Um, you can see different colors. What are some of the colors you see in the tube? So I see like blackish brown, then up to lighter brown, then lighter, then dark green, up to light green, then kind of orangish because of the water. Very cool. Do you see little tunnels maybe if, if things have moved through there? Some yes, but not everywhere. All right. The next spot we are going to go, we are going to learn about how we can be adapted for extremes. What are some of the adaptations on your creature? Um, well, it has wings and it has a hat. What does the hat help? Protect it from the sun, maybe? No, funny. Just funny. Okay, that's good. Maybe a good distraction. Okay, I like that. What creatures have you created? Uh, a, a bird, um, a, a T-Rex, and um, a pterodactyl. Tell me about some of the adaptations. What's something cool about one of your creatures? Well, this one has a hat and this one has like a curly tail. Oh, they look great in their new habitats. Love it. So we can see how your creations are adapted for extreme environments. At this part of the exhibit, we are exploring about the missions that we have taken to Mars with the Perseverance rover and Ingenuity. You can see some models behind me, but let's check out some signs of life that are seen under the microscope. Using the microscope, what sorts of identifications can you make from these samples? I see sand, I can see um, Devotian fossils too. We have our magnified space and our UV light. What, what do you see the differences between these two lights? 
The differences are one shows it the air at nighttime and one shows it at daytime. All right, can you show me how it works? So I actually spin this thing around and it shows me different um, of the samples on the um, screen. Life on the Edge is now on display at the Smyrna Outdoor Adventure Center, located at 100 Sam Ridley Parkway East. For more information, you can visit their online website at SmyrnaOutdoorAdventureCenter.org or by calling 615-459-9710. Life on the Edge is powered with local support from Middle Tennessee Electric. Life on the Edge was produced by Science Center in partnership with the Spacecraft, Planetary, Image, Facility, and with generous support from NASA. Thanks for tuning in.